So for moving any Autrix workflow, we have to move that workflow from production norm schedule folder to schedule jobs production. So go to Dropbox under that look for Autrix folder under that look for non schedule folder. Look for SFMC solution folder workflows and this one we'll use to move to production. So we need to just copy this folder. Go back. And now we'll copy this under production folder. So double click on this. Double click on digital engagement. Double click on SFMC Alteric solution. Double click on workflows. Double click on sub workflows. Double click on daily. And here you need to paste it. So you can see now it's here in the production folder. Another important thing that we have to do is to change the path, path of output files. So in order to do that, open the, open the workflow. And you can see the path is basically map to non-schedule folder. Now we have to change it to the production folder. So very first step that we have to do after moving workflow from non-schedule folder to production folder is to change the connection. So the connection would always be the audience analytics connection. One second, let me look for that. This one, ODBC, uh, audience analytics one. Select that, press OK. So this would be the very first step that we need to keep in mind. Then you can see uh, these exclamation marks. That means they do not identify the old path since that was attached to my uh, non-scheduled folder. And now we have moved workflow to production folder. So we have to change all the output file paths. So let's start with the data extension first so for example for this one we need to map this to so go back to digital engagement go back to sfmc alteric solution folder go back uh, go to data extension folder so now you have to keep in mind if your uh, data extension is for austin it will go into AAS. If it is for AJC, it will go to AJC folder respectively. So make sure you map the correct path to correct folder. So for this one, here we will make it as ePaper promotion.txt. So this would be under uh, EGC. Okay. Save. Click on uh, canvas and you can see now since it is mapped to the color, uh, correct place, uh, this exclamation mark is uh, gone. So likewise, you have to change for all the data extension. Since this is for uh, AAS, it will go to AAS folder and likewise for each and every data extension we have to map the output file now regarding a target list even this we have to map so we have to make sure the path that we map here is going to this path so this is where we will load our data so we load our data into BizDoc. so make sure that our path is of Biz talk. Okay, so this is site ID. Since it is for AJC, it will be AJC, and the name of the file would be ePaper Promotion. So 
as you remember from earlier video i always said the name of this output file and this output file would always be similar the only difference is dot txt so this is these are the most important steps that you have to do after moving your workflow from non-production folder to production folder 